So before applying compressor in Audacity, I like to make sure of a couple of things. Uh, first of all, um, I would click the right mouse button right here and set up my meter to linear decibels. By default, it would be set to amp. And this gives me a way better view. And this is going to be important when we will adjust the threshold settings now. So uh, you don't really need much of the spectrogram. So I like to drag it down. Now I have even better view of this meter right here. The next thing I like to do is to clean my clean up my order. So this particular order sample is already cleaned up. And I, I suggest you do the same because you don't want to work with all your levels uh, if you haven't dealt with, with the noise floor and the background noise beforehand. You don't want to increase it accidentally. Then you can select your audio recording, go to effect, and I like to use normalize effect and set up my peak level to zero decibels. This gives me Every time I work with Compress, it gives me the same starting point where my audio peaks at zero decibels. So the baseline is kind of similar and I usually end up with similar compressor parameters uh, as well. And also uh, this whole waveform becomes bigger so it's easier for me to see the exact decibels I'm working right here. And now we can go to Effect and Compressor. And in Compressor, the most important setting is going to be Threshold. So Threshold determines the line, the point from which your audio is going to be affected. So if it's set at minus 10 decibels of this audio that is below this uh, Threshold line, uh, or rather in terms of decibels above this line, because these are negative values. So this whole portion also this whole portion is going to be affected. The lower the threshold, the, the more of your audio is going to be affected and uh, eventually your audio will become more compressed. So that's threshold. Uh, the second most important parameter is probably going to be ratio. It determines how much your audio is going to be affected. So if you set it by uh, to 4 to 1 ratio, then this whole portion of your or the track is going to be divided four times. So the higher the ratio, the more compressed your audio becomes. I usually don't change my ratio, attack time, release time, and noise flow. I just leave them always the same. And the only parameter I work with is threshold. So four to one ratio for me is a sweet spot. Attack time, release time, these are fade in and fade out effects for compressor. Again, I leave them always the same. And noise floor lets Audacity know what is the noise floor level in your audio recording. So where everything that is below minus 40 decibels is going to be considered noise. So when you're using any of these checkboxes, and we will use this one, Audacity will know that uh, minus 40 decibels, that's noise, and when you are applying gain, it won't increase it as much because you don't want to bring up the noise floor um, higher. And then by default, uh, Audacity works with RMS settings, so that's like um, audio levels, uh, audio volume over time i i rather like to work with peaks because that's much easier for me to visualize i know that you know i can see them visually right here and it, it gives me a better understanding so i just check this box and for example i like to use audition another audio editing software and that's the the default option to work with peaks so I just check this box. Also, um, compressor usually makes your audio quieter because it affects the louder parts of your audio and, and reduces the volume. But since 
I check this box, it will make my audio louder because it will maintain the same audio levels at the peak, but it will then mm, increase my audio volume at these quieter parts uh, of my audio recording. So now we can click apply. And as you can see, the loudest part has stayed the same, you know, at the maximum zero decibels point. But all of all other parts of my audio recording have become quieter, uh, louder, and now it has in overall become significantly louder. But I haven't gone above a zero decibels point. So I haven't introduced any audio clipping, and uh, my my audio in overall has become more even, so more compressed. Now, if this is too loud. I can always go to effect, uh, normalize and reduce my audio volume by let's say minus three decibels, but my audio is still, you know, uh, still has the same shape and is more even than when I began to work with it. And that's it. That's how we use a compressor in Audacity.